Okay, so guys, I know I didn't upload last week. Um, I have an explanation, okay? I was in LA for four days, decided to take the kids to Universal Studios while I was taking a class to further my services at my business, um, Royal Beauty Bar in Redwood City. Um, so I was down there and then coming back home, like things were a mess and it's just really hard to get back in a routine when you have as many kids as I do it's just everything has been all over the place and I know y'all thought I wasn't gonna upload this week but I was like no I'm really it's like 8 30 in the morning I was like adamant at like getting on here and giving you guys a video and I'm really excited for this video so let's go hello everyone welcome back so in today's video I'm sharing some of the things that I have changed in my log journey from when I started in the beginning to what I do now as of recently um, I'm really excited for all these things really want to share them with you and you do want to stick around for the very last one because I said I wasn't gonna do this but I have been and I'm kind of feeling it so make sure you stick around to the end We're going to start, but I just want to first welcome anyone who is new to my channel. I am Elizabeth and we cover all things beauty related and we really love affordable options. So if you're into any of that, go ahead and subscribe. So the first thing that I have changed in my um, regimen is I don't wash as often. So I barely wash my hair. I only wash when I feel like my scalp is itchy or my hair is dirty. Now, if you follow me, you know I said that before, but before my hair was more itchy, um, my hair seemed like it got a little more dirty. I don't know why, but um, now that I'm kind of maturing in my log journey, I don't find that my hair is as itchy or my scal scalp is as itchy and my hair is as dirty. So I kind of don't wash as often as I used to and I also do not wash with my tea tree tingle shampoo every single time so in the beginning I would wash with my tea tree tingle and then I will go in with my um, moisturizing shampoo my aloe vera moisturizing shampoo next I've totally changed that so what I do now is I and I got my notes here you guys so when I wash when it's dirty and um you know when my scalp is itchy which isn't as often as before and as far as washing goes i basically clarify my hair let's say one month the month that i'm washing my hair I'll, I'll clarify my hair and then the next month i'll do a moisturizing um shampoo wash so it's not back to back anymore that's i haven't been doing it like that um i feel like only clarifying my hair once you know in a certain span of time uh works for me so yeah i will only do the tea tree tingle clarifying if i feel like my hair is extremely dirty and i have something that needs to come out other than that i've been using the moisturizing shampoo on its own okay um the next thing i haven't been mixing my oils or essential or essential oils into my rose water mixture i don't know when this changed or you know how I came here because I love my moisturizing mixture but just as of lately I haven't been mixing I just like if I wash my hair I get out of the shower and I basically seal in the moisture with my oil or essential oils mixed in my hand like I'll just pour and I'll just go down the shaft of my locks that's what I have been doing after washing and also like if I'm spritzing my hair with the rose water or, or you know just spraying it down to hydrate it I'll go in really quickly with an oil or the mixture of oils alone and to go down the shaft of my hair I, I just feel like that has been working for me um, yeah so that's what I've changed about moisturizing my hair just really looking to take my moisture to another level so I feel like your hair when your hair matures certain things will work for you you know it might not be the same things that you started off with not saying like the stuff that i started off with still does it for my hair but i just want to have really like a better moisture like i want to feel my hair and i want to feel like it's not dry so i'm just trying out different things and so far so good so the next thing you guys this is the last and final thing that i have been doing um and i i slightly i'm, I'm in love 
I'm, well, I'm not going to say I'm in love, but I'm slight way feeling it. So I'm slight way feeling this. So the next thing that I have been doing is using conditioner. I know, I know you guys, but I was in Safeway and I seen a full line of the aloe vera shampoo and conditioner they had them in so many different kinds and i will post a picture of something around um so you guys know that i use the aloe vera uh, moisturizing shampoo so i was like why not try the conditioner now the reason why i wanted to do this because i'm the type of person who wants to learn by trial i don't want to just say oh i don't do this because it doesn't work now I would never use waxes in my locks. That's just something I won't do because I've seen it so many times, so I don't need to try it, you know? But as far as conditioner goes, I really want to see the difference between if you use it and if you don't. Um, the conditioner, like I said, that I'm using is the aloe vera um, and macadamia oil conditioner. Did I say shampoo? So the conditioner, yeah, I've been using is the aloe vera and macadamia. And I will put a picture somewhere. Uh, it corresponds with the shampoo. And I've been really liking it. I feel like when I wash my hair and then I condition, my hair is a lot more moisturized and a little bit softer as well because I do have frizzy, you could call them frizzy locks. Um, it could be because I'm, you know, not as mature as the next person so i don't know what it is i love it i don't really care that my locks are a little bit frizzy um but i definitely feel like it does soften my locks and it does have my hair really moisturized especially for about the first week week and a half ish my hair you guys know i have really dry hair so i just decided to try this and i'm actually liking it i haven't noticed any buildup that's left in my hair um and if i do have like flakage from my aloe vera like i told you guys before like it happens flakes but it washes out really well i'll wash my hair i'll condition it and it's clean but it's not like like squeaky after I condition it's like moisturized and I feel like that's working especially with me not clarifying so I decided to clarify less only when I feel like I need it and then using my aloe vera moisturizing shampoo and conditioning other times where my hair is not you know dirty I just want to have a clean scalp or clean hair and that's really been helping me lately so that's what I have changed in my uh, journey Everything in my description and everything I've talked about in my other videos are very good still. And I'm not saying that I completely stopped doing it, but I have been noticing that this is something that I have been doing more often and I've been liking them. As usual, I'm not influencing you to purchase anything. I'm just helping you save time and money by trying things that you're already interested in and saving a little coin. Everybody likes to save a coin. As usual, God bless you all and have a great day, night, or whatever it is where you are. Bye, guys.